Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham, and I'm gonna be hitting these today. The new TaylorMade M2, and without question, the strongest lofted irons that have ever been brought out, in my opinion. I don't think I've ever seen a set of irons with such strong lofts. So we're gonna see how, how it can still be a, a usable iron with lofts as strong as they are, because with the technology behind it, they're saying that you don't sacrifice height, even though those lofts are very strong. And when I'm talking strong, I've got this in six, eight, and four. The six iron I've got here in my hand is 25 degrees. The seven, which I've not got, is 28.5 degrees. 28.5 degrees. And the eight iron, which I have got, is in 33 degrees. That is super strong. I promise you, that is really strong. Compared to a traditional iron where a seven iron would be 34 degree, well, I say traditional, what is traditional anymore? A uh, more standard 7 iron is 34. They've brought one out at 28.5 degrees of loft. That's less, that's a degree and a half less than the 6 iron that I have in my set. So, how is it going to work? That's what I don't understand at the moment. How is it going to work? Um, I'm going to hit some shots. I'm going to hit good GC2, um, see how it performs, see how it flies, see how it reacts, see how, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm going to be hitting the 6, 8, and God knows what the 4 iron is going to do. It's going to come out like a bullet. But what they're saying is that you don't lose height, which I can't see how that will happen just yet, but I may, I may be proven wrong. How they've managed to say that, how they're doing that apparently, is they've stripped the weight as low as it's ever, ever, ever gone before. The weight is as low as it ever can go. They've got these chambers in the back. They've dropped the face slots on these irons, saying that face slots can be used for smaller headed irons, but not so much for the big chunky ones. They've stuck with the speed slot from four iron down to, I think it's in the seven iron. I've not got the 7.9, I'm not sure, but I think the speed slot's in the 7.9 and an 8.9 pitching wedge so forth isn't. Um, these two big kind of chambers in the back, which looks very old school tailor-made in its design, which looks kind of a little bit like a burner. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw an image up on screen here, which is a prototype of an iron that I saw maybe two years ago, like a, a concept iron. Um, and you can kind of see a little bit of that in this M2 iron. Should we give it a hit? Let's hit it and see, see if it's kind of... Uh, Proof is in the pudding, so to speak. I've just got this in the standard steel shaft at the moment. Um, the ferrule they've stripped weight from, they've, they've stripped the sides of it, which you'll see an image of. So again, saving weight to strip that weight all the way into the back of the head. Nice idea, but I don't know how much that would have actually saved. But I suppose they've got to try and strip every single gram. It looks very forgiving. I like the dark head. I like the lighter face. White grooves or white bottom groove. The rest are just um, kind of grey in colour. Let's give us a hit. So this is six iron. The six iron is in 25 degrees. My six iron in my set is 30. 30 degrees, my six iron. So should we hit this? This is effectively, this is less loft than my five iron. I'm not sure what to expect just yet. I'm going to do a comparison against a normal, a standard lofted iron as well. That was really powerful. So I've got this pin a long way back. You know, that's a six iron that's getting up there to 200 yards. I didn't hit that absolutely as hard as I possibly could. 195 yards of carry distance. Um, I'm interested to see the peak height because that's what they're saying. The peak height hasn't been sacrificed. I'd be, I'd be interested to see that. Let's hit a few more and then we'll hit some of the other clubs as well. So it, it big and chunky, a little bit of, off, well, quite a bit of offset. I like the actual look of the head. I feel like that's a very forgiving look. But it, it does look like, if someone said, put this in my hand and said, Rick, that's a five iron. I would say, yeah, I wouldn't argue. I'd say it feels like a slightly shorter five iron. But really, it says six on the bottom. It, it's, in visually, in my eyes, that comes out like a five iron. It launches like a five iron. It's flying like a five iron at the moment. But again, I'm interested to see what the peak height is in a minute. Let's hit one more. I might do that before I move into the eight and the four. Let's go one more with the six. That was as good as I can hit a golf shot, strike-wise anyway. One on the green still. So yeah, I mean, <coughs> pretty good golf shots. They've all actually hit the green and thereabouts. Um, let, I'm going to hit one more, and I'm just going to maybe take out the second golf shot that I hit, because I kind of hit that a little bit low on the face. Um, well, no, I'll keep that one in. I'll keep that one in, because I just want to see it compared to my... My six iron. I'm going to test it against my six iron. I think that's the best thing to do. My six iron being 30 degrees. Is that the best thing to do? I'll have a think. Right, let me just hit this one more. I 
it seems super easy. It, in my head, it flies like a five iron. Get in the hole. <laughs> in my head, it flies like a five iron. Right. Let me think about the best thing to do here. I've got this in 25 degrees. I'm going to hit my iron that's a 26 degree iron. So effectively, my iron is a 26 degree iron, which I see in my head as a five iron. Let's see if the height is much different. So I'm just going to change the colour. Okay, so. So this is my 26 degree iron. It is a bladed iron. It's not designed for height at all. I'm just interested to get my head around why that isn't just a five iron with a big head. Let's hit some of these. So they're saying that you don't sacrifice loss of height with that golf club. Let's hit this, this one and see if, because that honestly visually my head looked like it flew exactly like a five iron. Mm, see that, I don't know, visually looked a little bit higher. It's gone a roughly about the same distance, maybe just a little bit shorter. Let's uh, set a couple more and see if there's much height. That, that was exactly the same as, as the average height of the six iron in that. I'm trying to get my head around why that is a six iron and why it's not a five iron at the moment. That's what I'm trying to get my, my head around. That looked identical in flight to that six iron. But this is my five iron, if that makes sense. Hopefully you're following me. And there's lots of six and five iron flying about. I'm going to hit one more and then have a look at the side view. See if there is actually any peak height difference. From the stats so far, it doesn't appear to be. Okay. So there's three with my five iron. My 26 degree five iron. If I just pop this on its side and have a quick look at the flights from the side here. So the red ones, it's a bit tricky to see because there's a couple of ones off the bottom with the tailor made that still managed to reach the green. But the white ones, the top white ones, did peak higher than my 26 degree. Even though the 25 degree 6 iron is a degree le less loft. Um, that can only contribute that the weight is stripped all the way down to the bottom. That weight is all the way down to the bottom. It's got more potential to launch higher. I get it comes down to the dynamic loft that you actually present at contact, but I don't know. That for me flew like a slightly higher flighted five iron for me. That was it. It's gone the same distance as a five iron and it's flown like a slightly higher five iron. Now, why then do you not just call it a five iron? That's what I don't quite grasp at the moment. Why do you not quite just call that a five iron? Because in simple terms, that's what it is. Now, we understand that the weight's been dragged down to the bottom and therefore it's allowing the ball still to go quite high. Now, this is, this is the M2 8 iron. 8 iron in this is 33 degrees of loft. Again, they stripped all that weight down right down to the bottom of the head to help it launch. Um, this, again, probably my 7 iron that I play with is 34 degrees. This is stronger than my 7 iron. I would expect it to fly like a 7 iron but with a slightly shorter shaft. There's no questioning they're easy to hit. I'm definitely not arguing that case. They're very easy to hit. Sorry, the simulator's just gone a little bit slow there, but they, they feel super, super easy to hit. Now, I understand there's a golfer that who, who wants confidence and wants to hit the eight iron because it says an eight iron instead of the seven iron. I get that. I get that confidence boosting because you're going into a par three or you're going into a hole where you want to hit a confident shot You'd w always want to hit a club less, ideally, because that's confident building. If you're playing with your mates and you hit a club less into the green, that's confident building. That's the ways of being standing there and you are the big boy because you're, you're hitting effectively an eight iron as far as everyone's seven iron. In disguise, it still is a seven iron. It just says an eight on the bottom, in my absolute opinion. I think it's a very good forgiving iron. I think it looks the part. I just can't get over that they've gone so low in the loft. But I must admit, visually, they're not, they're not hard clubs to hit. They're very easy clubs to hit. I just think you've got to appreciate that these are strong lofted clubs. Now, if you are in the market for an iron that hits the ball a long, long way, bang. Because why would they not? Why would they not? But then again, you go on, some other companies have gone for 
less, more loft to make it easier. So you've kind of got two sides. You've got, are they designed to make the game easier or are they designed just to make the ball go further? In my personal opinion, these are designed just to make the ball go further. They make the head size big to make it forgiving, but really it's just to make the ball go further. If you're into that, awesome. This is the four iron, which if I'm honest, is gonna be a flying machine. Let me just check the loft of the four. The four is 19 degrees. 19 degree four iron. That's a three iron. Thank you. That is a three iron. It doesn't actually look like a three iron weirdly, but it, for 19 degree, that's a three iron. This is gonna fly. Wanted to hit that. Bit of venom in that one. But that's, that says a four iron on the bottom, but really that is a three iron. <laughs> so my conclusion of these golf clubs is I feel like they're very, a good looking golf club. I think a lot of players will find confidence in these golf clubs. They'll, they'll hit these and think, yes, I'm hitting it further than my mates. I'm hitting it further than I've played in the past. Therefore, I'm a more confident golfer. Therefore, my scores will reduce. I get that, I do, honestly. But really, They're a big, forgiving, strong iron. They're a very big, forgiving. Look how far that's gone for a four iron. That's like 230 odd yards for a four iron. But it's not really, it's a three iron. So, hopefully you enjoyed the review. <laughs> I know there was lots of numbers kind of knocking about with lofts and everything else. If you want my just complete blunt opinion on this, they are clubs with low lofts, big heads. They'll make you hit the ball further. <laughs> but appreciate that the lower loft is, is a 3-4 whatever iron in disguise. Just because it says 4 on the bottom doesn't particularly mean it's a 4, in my opinion. Um, I think they're going to do well. I think they look smart, smart. I think there's lots of golfers out there who want more distance for the irons. And if you do, this is the market you kind of should be looking into. Um, right. I'm going to go driver next. M2 driver coming up. Uh, hybrids, fairway woods. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do thumb the video up. Um, comment down below, what do you think of the new M2 iron, TaylorMade M2? Are you a fan, are you not? I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about lofts changing? How, these are the strongest irons I've ever tested. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.